Hello everyone, Louis here one more time, welcome back. So, uh, I received lots of emails from add-on developers and to review the content on this channel. And I received one from Simon, which recently developed uh, the image node preview add-on that launched on Blender Market recently. I was reluctant of reviewing it, especially because it's out of scope of this channel, which is real-time, uh, 3D and game dev related so uh, one of the things that caught me on is that i reminded uh, i i submitted a proposal to the blender foundation uh, in 2014 i guess for this implementation and not only me but many people have been asking for this for a while now um you know we have right click select which you can submit features uh, ideas you know we get 97 upvotes here. We have another proposal with almost uh, 140 uh, upvotes, and nothing really is uh, heard about. So I'm here to explain what my thoughts on this are, why I think this feature hasn't been implemented yet, and uh, a little bit of the feedback I have for this add-on, if it's worth it or not. Uh, so let's just start by reviewing its code structure. Size-wise, it's fairly cheap, only 200 kilo kilobytes. Uh, it has a few shaders, uh, GLSL, um, a few dot pies, of course, and one of the features that call my attention is reviews are rendered in a background thread, so the Blender interface stays fluid and responsive at all times. I wanted to dig further down this, see what's happening behind the scenes. It has a data folder, and within this folder, uh, a preview scene.plan, and this is being called within the display.py which of course has to enable the image as place add-on within it to make it work ah man and yeah if you it also has to address a few special cases like uh, the color ramp nodes uh, those are a few that doesn't behave as uh, similar to the other ones uh, sockets, and yeah, fairly straightforward, I guess. Um, this is why I, sh I I think this shouldn't be handled by the API. Deep now, I know uh, core development is partially at fault for this. They they know a a feature like this sh shouldn't be an add-on, shouldn't shouldn't be handled by the API itself because of those limitations. But I guess it, it works for majority of users that won't ne will never care about this. Going here on the preference tab, it has a few juices for us. So only these options are actually can change the thumbnail size, if you want, and the resolution. Now this is, I guess, for high resolution displays, as he mentions on the documentation. I have no idea what this is changing at the moment, but yeah, this is it. Basically, you can have all previews on the color, on the, the share notes, as is. Uh, out of the box here, you can already see how the different possibilities and visual clues this gives you. Of course, uh, things like the magic texture node, which are very special ones, I will never be able to figure out what it's doing behind the scenes without it. Uh, it's very, very specific. And it also has different uh, depth modes. So you can change the scale. And you can already see how many variations you obtain. Uh, it's one of the few examples in which this implementation would shine, per se. But uh, I will... I'll get a little more serious here, uh, because Substance Designer, okay, and Real Engine, I'll have thumbnail previews on their um, nodal graphs. So why Blender doesn't have it? 
I think it's mainly, in my opinion, two main factors. Momentum. You heard it right. Um, I I totally believe like, the core development team is aware of this. It's impossible not to be, be so. Uh, everyone has been talking about it for years now. But there are possibly bigger plans in which this would be addressed uh, when the time is right. Like the painting workflow improvements that can replace the texture node editor. Let's say they add newer uh, nodes to the shader editor, like the shader to RGB one. Let me search it here. So, yeah, this is especially for Eevee, so no preview here, of course. But you get the general idea, right? And the second um, reason, I believe, is development bandwidth. Like, a feature like this would imply a lot of restructuring in the user interface and the user experience as well. So not only one developer would be uh, allocated by this, and it has a little bit to do with momentum as well. Uh, you know, uh, all node types would have to be addressing this new uh, pattern. How would be it behave? and especially the cost of time for maintaining those. What I really think of this, of all of this, well, uh, just like the sidebar buttons, or, you know, the left click, right click, it's in accessibility implementation. Now, of course, we have the Node Wrangler, uh, and you can place it on every step to see its preview, but from a learnability standpoint, being able to see in a bird, bird's eye view all steps at once, uh, it's key for me to better understand the shader editor and help with my uh, learning curve, ultimately. Uh, with a lower entry bar to dabble with notes, uh, more people will familiarize themselves with the system and down the road, more uh, that translates to more Blender users as well, so it's a win-win situation. Of course, not everything for my needs uh, are suitable, and this add-on didn't help much. And one of these cases was was um, baking. Okay, I wanted to bake this bevel node uh, on a texture map for this piece here, and um, I tried to create. Okay, let's create a sample, and now it's gonna be. Uh, baking on this material but as you can see I can't really have the preview of my bake right now directly on my um, thumbnail and that's partly a blender problem as well but it's not really saving me time I still have to go to the image editor and I still have to select it manually uh, save it to my disk to be able to visualize on the shader graph. So, yeah, not a very suitable way at all. For the final verdict, then, um, it's priced. At, it was priced at thirty dollars. Now it's raised at thirty-five. It has no competition, so it's the only project addressing this issue at the moment. And as a customer, we are left with this very sad pay it or forget it situation, which ah, is not really helpful. At this price, would I recommend this item? Uh, it's a difficult sell. It provides a cheaper alternative uh, with only the image node preview node, if that interests you. But even so, with the baking problem I mentioned and also relying on import image as planes add-on <laughs> for it to work as well. Um, personally, I would not buy this. Uh, unless I was making a living out of creating materials in Blender, which many people do, hopefully. Maybe if it had improved other UI paper cuts from the shader editor. One example would be the locked color space uh, drop-down on the image node when it's not yet saved on disk. And this is something that 2.79 had, but 
developers took away in 2.8 for reasons. Um, so yeah, maybe it can evolve to something that's more than uh, the node editor. Let's bring the conversation to the discussion down below. Follow me on social media and yeah, we see each other on the next video. Bye.